The first toy we're going to talk about is the Moonlight Storybook Projector. The Moonlight costs $14.99 and comes with one projector and one story. Each individual additional story that you can purchase costs $7.99. You can purchase these on mymoonlight.com. How to use the Moonlight is very simple. You will pick a story reel, attach it to your phone so the projector piece will go over your flashlight on your phone and then you'll open the Moonlight app and enjoy your story. What disability categories could best be served by Moonlight? Learning disabilities, autism, and developmental delay. So learning disabilities could be students with dyslexia or ADHD. Um, the students with dyslexia could benefit from having someone else read the story to them so they can focus on what the story is about and not necessarily reading the words. Students with ADHD could use this to stay more focused during a story because it will keep them interested and not allow for as many distractions. Students with autism may not be able to um, read books on their own, so this is a great tool for them as well. And those with developmental delay might just have a hard time um, reading words and they would like to just listen to a story. What learning goals can better be met using Moonlight? Reading comprehension and a reading fluency. Reading comprehension, this will help them to um, be able to kind of retell a story and understand what the story is about um, rather than just focusing on how to read the story. Uh, reading fluency, having someone else read a story to them and having them listen to that will allow them to pick up the clues on how to read a story in the future. The next toy that we have is the Desktop Busy Box. It costs $159.99 and you can purchase it at enablingdevices.com. So to use the Desktop Busy Box, it is very simple. You just press the plate of your choice. So the yellow plate will play music. The orange plate has colored lights. The blue plate has bead chains and music. The red plate allows you to record your own 10 second message and play back and the button on top will make the box vibrate. So it's a really good sensory tool. What disability categories could best be served by the desktop busy box? The disability categories would be autism and developmental delay. A student with autism could use this as a nice sensory toy. Um, and those with developmental delay could use it as a learning toy to learn colors or to learn a cause and effect relationship. What learning goals can be better met using the desktop busy box? Um, you can teach your students colors with this. There are only four colors on the box, so it would, it's a very simple color learning activity. Um, cause and effect, so what happens when you press each plate, something different happens. So you'll, you can ask them what's gonna happen when I press the green plate, or what's gonna happen when I press the blue plate, and they'll be able to tell you what is going to happen. Visual attention, being able to um, stay focused on what they're supposed to be doing, encourage reaching. Those with more severe disabilities will have a hard time um, moving their arms or reaching to certain things. So here are some more toys that we may find in a classroom. So the first one we have are Blue Bee Pals. These are really fun, interactive stuffed animals that you can connect to your phone's Bluetooth or your iPad's Bluetooth or even your computer's Bluetooth. And the stuffed animal will talk, the mouth will move, you can play music on them, they're a little speaker, and you can even use someone else's phone to call your phone, which is connected to the Bluetooth um, of the stuffed animal. And the stuffed animal actually talks and looks like it's say, saying what you're saying over the phone. So the generic brand of these toys are actually plus interactive toys. And there's a wide variety of different toys. So it's really important just to know your budget, how much you can spend, and what would work best for you in your classroom for you and your students. Uh, we can see that the elephant and the hedgehog are two more um, affordable options if you cannot afford the $90 Blue Bee Pal. But we also have some more expensive options like the Teddy Ruxpin doll for $250. And then we have another different brands um interactive toy which is the golden retriever for about 150 dollars so again it's just what works best in your classroom 
So the instructions on how to use are very simple, very easy. So you can plug into the wall to charge it. It's It comes with a cord, so you just plug it into the wall, you charge it, and then once it's charged, you turn it on, you connect it to the Bluetooth off of whatever device you are using, whether that be a phone or computer, and then you can play your music, you can talk to it, whatever um, need you need, whatever you need your toy for, you use it that way. And then when you're done, you turn it off and then charge it so it's ready for next time. Very easy, very simple to use. So, which disability categories could best be served by this device? Uh, this toy is can be used for anyone, any classroom, um, but here are some that I have listed. So, the first being a student who may have a speech impairment or motor delays. Uh, being able to talk with the stuffed animal is just more of a fun, interactive way um, to talk and use those uh, speech muscles to better develop those muscles. Um, a student who may have uh, an emotional disturbance, uh, sometimes it's easier for kids and children to talk to a stuffed animal that they can hug, they can pet, instead of uh, talking directly to a adult. Student with autism, student with developmental delay, and then students with a learning disability could also benefit from this toy. So being able to do this, uh, the schoolwork with an animal can make learning more fun and keeping students engaged. The animal may even be able to help teach the lesson for more of an interactive lesson to really keep students engaged because what student wouldn't love seeing an animal like a giraffe or the zebra teach the lesson? Um, it can be helpful when trying to de-escalate an overstimulated student by being able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. And then this goes with the last one of being able to hug and pet the student or hug and pet the animal to comfort the student um, to bring the comfort that maybe an adult couldn't bring. So what learning goals can be met or met by the use of this device? So the first goal is time management. The animal can encourage students to stay on task. The second one, this one also kind of goes with the first one, but striving for excellence. Um, the animal, the Bluey Pal, can remind students of what is expected in the classroom. Example being raising your hands, no yelling, and treating all classmates and students with respect. And then the last goal I have here is staying on task and focus. So this uh, toy can be used as a reward. After we do our homework, or after you do your work, we can turn on some music and play with the animal. So the last toy that we have are uh, is the nursery rhyme calipiter. So the nursery rhyme calipiter looks like this, and there are so many different options of this. So the generic name or idea of this toy is just a cause and effect toy. Um, these are very good for young children who are still developing uh, different motor skills as well as color identification, their ABCs, the one, two, threes, all those type of things, counting. So there's a wide variety, wide variety of different toys in the price ranges, just depending on your students. So we have this one in the bottom left-hand corner that you press the buttons and you can push things down. Um, and then there's also colors on that one. This Piggy Pine, you can uh, pull out the little things, you can count them. And then this bottom one in the right-hand corner, uh, you can actually use with a switch. Uh, so you can plug it in and use a switch with that one. So the basic installation instructions is firstly you plug it uh you plug in the switch and then you start playing it's very easy very simple and then when you're done you unplug the switch and it's pretty much ready to go for the next time. So which disability categories could best be served by this device? Uh we have uh, maybe a student who has delayed fine and gross motor skills uh being able to press down on things, sort things out, uh just being able to more develop 
those motor skills. Uh, we have sensory awareness, um, being able to see the colors, uh, see the numbers and everything, but being able to touch things. Uh, press buttons can really help with the sensory awareness as well as the lights. And most of these cause and effect toys do have sound, so playing um, music and everything. The nursery rhyme calipiter does play lullabies and um, songs. Uh, maybe a student who has a visual impairment, being able to see the lights um, can help, and then also a student with autism. So what learning goals can be better met with these uh, use of this device? So the first one we have is developing stronger fine and motor, uh, strong, stronger fine motor and gross motor skills by sorting and handling the tools. You saw in the Pookie Pine one, you pull out the little Pokey Pines and then you got to put them back into place. Um, the piano one, you got to press the piano keys and that one can be used with a switch as well. Secondly, we have the math, uh, math skills by counting with the toy um, and then counting toys. So going back to the porcupine one, you got to pull out the porcupine things and then put them back in there. Uh, so you're counting them. You can count with the toy. So like the piano one, you press a key and then it will say one two, three, so on, just like that. And then the last goal we have is color identification. This is a really big one with these kind of toys. Most of them do light up, like the rhyming calipiter one. Um, you press um, one of the colors and it will say the color. It's really good to get kids who are just now learning their colors to play with these because it's a good way for them to learn their colors. And finally, here's my work cited for the images and toys that I used. So this is the one for the Bluebee Pals. And then this is the work cited for the Nursery Rhyme Calipiter.